Go. Now, I recently discovered what the secretary of the conference is, and then today at conference, you stood up and said, I'm the connectional secretary. Wait, what? What's <laughs> that? Well, if, if the secretary of the conference looks after matters spiritual, ministerial, I think my role is to try and look after matters temporal. So my job is to think about the work of the team uh, and to head that up and work with colleagues and also sadly to think a lot about the budget uh, and the resources that we have in front of us. So I guess sometimes in the outside world I would describe myself as the chief operating officer for the church. Okay, and so when you say the team, who, who exactly is your team? So the connectional team is employed on behalf of the Methodist Council to support the mission and ministry of the Methodist Church. That's what we exist to do. Uh, and the council employ 200 people uh, who are spread across the connection. So about 60% of the team is based in Methodist Church House in London normally. Of course, we've been working at home for the last 15 months, uh, but there are also members of the team who are spread out and about around the districts and at Cliff College and at Queen's uh, and in Manchester, at the buildings there working with TMCP. So there's all sorts of experts in various fields that the church employs through the council to support the work mm -hmm. of the circuits and the districts. Feel like Marjorie. Absolutely. <laughs> our, our job is hopefully to resource Marjorie. Uh, we are there to understand what Marjorie is asking for, whether that's through our minister uh, or through her lay leadership or through the district, through the circuits, and we seek to produce the resources that hopefully help Marjorie live out her discipleship in worship and mission. So your job sounds quite complex and quite difficult. What's one of the good things, what's one of the joyful things about your job and what's one of the, I won't say one of the awful things, one of the challenging, one of the hard things? Well of course there's no awful things. Uh, <laughs> the, the challenge, the challenge is that we have such a collection of wonderful Methodist people who've all got passion for the gospel and they want to transform the world mm -hmm. and therefore we want to do everything and we're really struggling at the moment to come to terms with being a church that is much smaller in number than we used to be uh, and also we know that in circuits and districts we are lacking some of the volunteers we used to be and the idea then is well we'll just employ some people to do it but we don't have the money to do that so we're really struggling and we're yeah. really caught in a really difficult cycle mm -hmm. so that that I find difficult because so much of what's before us uh, in the conference and in the, the year of, of our work it's all great stuff but actually it's a bit beyond us. Mm. And so how do we get that, that reality? 25 marks discuss. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Um, so what's, the, what's some of the happy things, what's some of the joyful things about your job? Well, I love working with the Connectional team. I am so proud of the team that I'm part of. Uh, I work with some great people. I love working with our chairs of the district. I love working uh, with circuit superintendents all mm. around the Connection. I'm really lucky because I also get to engage with Global Methodism. And I think however we are feeling about ourselves, uh, we need to look not just to our history but to our present and to our future. When I see those 80 odd million Methodists around the world changing the world mm -hmm. uh, for the sake of the gospel, that gives me just such great heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm so lucky that I get to engage with the European Methodist Council, the World Methodist Council. Oh yeah, because I pray for you on day, on day, is it 30 or 31? No, yeah. I think, it, I think it's 30, day 31 yeah. because it only pops up now and again. Oh, so okay. I don't mind, I'm yeah, not complaining. You. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but I mean, for, for anyone that thinks either the European Methodist Council or the World Methodist Council sounds dull, actually the blessing of knowing those people of being part of that sister and brotherhood of, of folk around the world it's just amazing yeah. so that that for me and of course not being able to travel you might think over the last 15 months our relationships have, have suffered the irony is that actually we feel closer than we ever have that is true that is true and i think that's one thing i love about methodism is that marjorie <laughs> uh, we're all we're all we are all connected not, and that's a great thing about conference. You certainly feel that, that you're connected to a large group of people, but to have that global impact as well, remember that we are part of this wonderful, massive worldwide organisation. Yeah. And I know as, we, as we approach conference this week to do things that hopefully make a difference to Marjorie, it also makes a difference to our partners around the world. Yeah. And so we're so mindful of that. And uh, you know, my emails this week, we're hearing from the partner, the leaders of partner churches that we work with who are holding us in prayer uh, and just walking alongside us. Yeah. Uh, and we have a really privileged position within global Methodism 
but we're, we are really in a, in a position now where we're let, we, I think we're learning more, we're listening more, mm -hmm. and to me that feels really positive. So I, that is the bit I love. It's just Thank great. Thank you. Well, I've learned something else. Also, it's learned something new. I've learned what a, a, connect, a connectional secretary is and what they do. Doug, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.